That Osram camp Talana and I were trying to find should be around here. News for One of our scouts found some ancient ruins southwest of here. Had a look for myself, but came out empty-handed. I can't shake the feeling we missed something. Oh well. Must be my disappointment talking. Maybe you'll have better luck next time. I can always check out the ruins myself. See if there's anything that the officer missed. It's you. An honor. Fill my patch with these later. Talana, glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osiram knocking at your door. And you are? This is Raggard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porgov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Did Amada say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew? Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. Moreland and his showman. Yeah, that's the fellow. They're quite a spectacle on their own, let me tell you. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks for the 
Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine, I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. This must be Fall's Edge. Katala said I could resupply here, then head for the Quen Ferry. Welcome. Okay, with Fall's Edge behind me. You. Just gotta head Open. west until I reach the coast.
stomach's full, but my stash has room. stand. data. Thorn Marsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amatis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the Lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. 
Well, she was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield. But when he learned that the Tanakhs took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on then. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Ready for anything, now? Over here, you flaming hunk of scrap! That's him! The fire passed right on his heels. Come on! He's got your back!
Alana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Asaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind this, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be Amadis. And you must be Aloy. Talana's told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But what are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids. That you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sundan at first. But as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And yes, we were close. Until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned. But I thought at least I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Our soldiers slaughtered or missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. Been on the run ever since. But the Red Raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew... The Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize. So, you and Talana, um, it sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Claw Striders, a hunter killer, mercenaries, a shell snapper. Nothing could get in her way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The rot's not far. <laughs> 